What's going on guys? In this video I want to talk about different kinds of umbrellas. A lot of times people when they go online searching for umbrella to do studio stuff, strobe stuff, outdoors, um, they're not sure which umbrella to purchase because there are many different um, kinds. I've used pretty much um, all of them except for the golden one and, and I, I don't plan on purchasing that one so uh, I, may, maybe in future, I don't know. Um, today, well towards the end we're going to look at you know, a few, a couple of sample pictures that I took with a shoot-through umbrella and a reflective umbrella. I'll show you different kinds, um, and then we'll just compare two in this video. And then, you know, as as we do more strobe stuff, we'll compare other um, stuff as well. All right. So this is this is my lesser light umbrella. Very compact. I it's you know for weddings or if you're traveling, this is this is really good. This is shoot-through umbrella, which means you can shoot basically just attach you have you'll have to use an adapter umbrella adapter it's over there i don't want to if i get up i'll probably get tangled in the wire anyway another video for that so you basically attach an umbrella uh, umbrella bracket here and put the speed light here and just fire okay this is 33 inches and it's it's called translucent which means it will block a little bit of light. I want to say about one stop. Okay, so this is your shoot through umbrella. Very, very popular. The setup is extremely easy compared to, let's say, softbox. If you're doing weddings um, and you want to do portraits, group shots, things like this, lighting is really crappy. Easiest way to set up is your your shoot through umbrella. You could also use reflective as well. Let me show you what reflective umbrella looks like. Okay. All right. So here's your reflective umbrella. Reflective umbrella, basically, this is two in one. It's 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 one of the best umbrellas that I that I own because well, many reason. It's really it's really solid. And believe it or not, this was uh, when I do a strobus a beginner kit. I'll explain where I bought this from um, and the make and everything. Um, right now, what I want to show you is that. This is two in one, okay? I can remove this black cover and it, it becomes a shoot through umbrella. So if you don't want to shoot through, put this black cover on and now this is a reflective umbrella. So these are the two umbrellas that I'm going to compare the shoot through that I just showed you and the reflective one and show you what the difference is in lighting, in contrast, in light spill as well because sometimes you have to control the spill of the light you don't want the light going everywhere okay so this is your reflective umbrella this is 40 inch by the way let me just open this up so I don't think the whole thing is gonna fit in the frame but this is this is 40 inches alright so there's another umbrella that I really like and this is called stain white Okay, stain white and the inside is silver. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the silver in this. Now, but this is not really dark silver that you see. Um, you know, like there are a lot of umbrellas, especially for your fashion shoot, they use silver umbrella. This is really light silver, so it adds a little bit of extra contrast. I really, really like this, this umbrella. It's solid built. The shaft is not hollow, which is, I prefer that way, okay? Um, because it's if it's hollow and you tighten it too tight, it's gonna it's you're gonna see the bend in there. So really, I think it was probably I don't know maybe twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, something like that. Their umbrellas are really cheap compared to your soft boxes. All right, let's look at the shoot through umbrella and the reflective umbrella pictures and compare um, the difference. So here are the two pictures. And I'm not going to tell you right away which one is taken with reflective and which one is taken with shoot through. I want you guys to pause this video for a second and look at the two pictures and just compare them. Look at the color contrast. Look at the light spill in the background. Um, things like this. And then tell me which one you think is the reflective one and which one. I mean, not tell me, but you know, take a guess and then tell me if your guess was right. Or wrong and why did you pick 
you know, uh, right to be, you know, shoot through or reflect, you know, or vice versa. All right. So pause this video and, and analyze this, and I'll tell you in a second. All right. So the picture on the right was taken with reflective umbrella with the black cover, and the picture on the left was taken with a shoot through umbrella. All right. So the difference is you can clearly see there's extra contrast in this picture. And by the way, both these pictures are completely unedited. What you're seeing is the raw image. I just exported to JPEG. Absolutely no editing at all. Because this way you can see the difference. Okay? So, picture on the right, reflective Romello with black cover. You can see there's more contrast here. And this one, you can tell that it's a little bit washed out. You can easily fix this. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just showing you the difference. You can easily increase the contrast in post-processing. Also, with shoot-through, your light on this side of the face, it's more wraparound. Here, you're seeing a little bit of shadow in his eye. Now, with studio stuff, strobe stuff, shadows are good. That It doesn't mean it's bad. You know, outdoors when you're when you're shooting in direct sunlight, yeah, that those shadows are not good, especially when you're subject to squinting. But in studio, shadows, these type of things, you know, these dramatic looks, they build character. I'm not saying this is so dramatic. I'll 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 do um, some low key photography and show you, you know, really nice dark shadows. Um, but for now, you can tell um, the reflective one has a little bit of extra shadows. Another thing I don't know if you noticed is this is the light spill. The black uh, cover also controls the light. It's more directional, okay? So whenever you have more directional light, it's gonna have a little bit of shadow. Um, but you can also control where the light is falling. So in the background, you can see it's darker than the one shot with shoot through. With shoot through, the light spreads all over. You have very less control over the lighting when you're using shoot through because it goes everywhere. With reflective umbrella or let's say a softbox, um, you have more control over where you want the light to fall. So this is basically the main difference. In future, what I'll do is that I'll take some pictures with a silver uh, umbrella and one with like a white umbrella, and we'll just compare uh, the difference. So, which one should you get? I would probably go with uh, the one that I showed you, the the combo one. Um, you know that that's both reflective and and shoot through. Some actually have a light silver silver lining inside. Um, those are not bad at all. I actually I actually prefer those over just the plain shoot through ones. Shoot throughs are just very easy set up, um, but a couple of tries. Even with you know reflective stuff, you guys will be good. All right. So um, if I miss anything, please uh, post a comment and I'll answer it because sometimes it's hard to remember you know all the things that you want to go over in the video. Um, anyway, hope all is well. And any special requests, please let me know. And definitely tell me if you guys were able to guess uh, you know the type of umbrella that I use correctly or not. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.